Um, and uh, also because we didn't have a room. So, um, who is new to these meetings? In the back, you? Three, four, Three, four five. Okay, so if things, I'm going to start from a higher level, assuming a lot of people have background, and if it doesn't make sense to you guys, you just come and talk to me, Carla, or then we stand and we'll, we'll help you, okay? All right. So basically, as you saw, we started the negotiation today again. It doesn't seem like we're going much faster. However, it, the goal is to have a 50% approved document before we leave here on Saturday. So chances are you're going to spend a lot of time in this building over the, until Saturday night. And hopefully it's not going to go on into Sunday because Bippy and I have to pack our stuff and go down to Rio on, on Sunday to start preparing down there for you guys. We will be meeting here tonight, and then this room will be available for the rest of the week from 6.15 to 9.30 upon request for meetings. If I don't get a request 24 hours in advance, we're not going to reserve the room because it's costly, and that's the only room we can get at only this time because we have no room, this meeting was not scheduled, and therefore the whole place is full. We might have some space on Saturday. You guys want to have a meeting because everybody else will be home. So then we could uh, provide for a room. If you let me know well in advance, we could provide for those rooms. Tomorrow morning on, we will have, every time we have a, a negotiation meeting as, like this, we have a briefing in the morning. We will have that briefing at 8.45 to 9.30 in room 3. Ecosoc. In Ecosoc. In ECOSOC, that's the meeting where we're going to have one of the negotiations. The reason to have it there is apparently the acoustic is better and we don't have other rooms. So, suggestion front, back. Let's put in the front. Let's look in the front of the room. There's all these tables where the people that take notes are. Maybe we could try to gather around there and see. If, I, I'm not sure how many people we're going to be. There's not going to be microphones, so we're just going to have to be cozy. Um, again, sorry, we don't have rooms. So that's the way we're going to have to do this. The, um, so that's going to be from 8.45 to 9.30. As you know, during those meetings, what it is is that one of you report, or some of you report back from the day before. We didn't have a meeting this morning, so I'm assuming there's not going to be that many people will be in a position to report back tomorrow morning. However, we were lucky enough, we had a, sh a quick uh, impromptu meeting with the organizing partners earlier, and chemo in, uh, is in charge of the uh, IISD, ISSD, it's the International Institute for Sustainable Development. They're the one that do the ENB. They're the one that report on the negotiation on a daily basis. They've agreed to... My computer is freaking out. Um, they've, um, um, they've agreed to come, to send somebody, I'm sorry, they've agreed to send somebody tomorrow morning and every morning, including in Rio, to do a short debrief, five to seven minutes, on the status of the negotiation the day before. Since they write it anyway, they're going to come. And then what we're going to do, because we had a discussion about this, what's the best model? We're going to have an hybrid system. So they're going to report five, seven minutes on the fact does factual reporting. This country said that. This blog political group said that. There is no agreement on this. The corridor said this. What, and then what we're going to do is open up the floor to those of you that were in these negotiations and saw something of interest for major groups, whatever, whatever your major group is, so you can share with the rest of the group. And, and that should not take much more time than what the traditional formula of having somebody just reporting that on what was said in the public floor. So that's going to be uh, tomorrow. I'm going to try to speed up here. I have a colleague of mine who's going to show up at 7. He wants to quickly go over the voluntary commitment page online. He wants to explain this to you again in five minutes. So that's going to be at 7. So I'll try to flip through these things pretty quickly. So tomorrow we go start 8.45 to 9.30. Um, let me ask, on the OP, usually we have a rotating system for the OP, I did send it out. I think last time we started backwards from Agenda 21, so this time it's forward. So women will be first. So women and uh, children and youth will be co-chair. Where are my children? <laughs> Can you learn to give children and youth so that we co-chair tomorrow? So, good. 
All right, in terms of tomorrow, I hope everybody went online and for and the Leo Plus 20 website, went to the third inter intercessional and got the program of work. As you saw on this and as you were alerted earlier this today, you had a 15-minute opportunity at each day at 5.45 for major group to speak major group. No Q&As, only this intervention, comments on the text that was negotiated that day. Not to be longer than two minutes each. And again, and it's going to be the same process in Rio, so we might as well get used to it. You basically coordinate with your organizing partners, you decide what's going to be said, and who's going to say it, and you let us know when we tell them with the secretariat, and then the co chair can call upon you. If you were in the rooms today, you saw it this afternoon, that's the way it will operate. Okay, so you have that. Um, I don't want to jump to the room right away, so I'm going to see if I have covered everything else. Any question for um, this week? We will be sending, I saw the text come came in for the 6 o'clock text. It's already in for one of the groups. So uh, everybody that is registered, if you bother to go to the registration desk and tell Pepe and Carla and our colleagues there, you on the distribution list, we will, I will send you the text as soon as I go back to my computer and stop freaking out. So you will get those texts. They're not to be shared around. They're for you to prepare for the negotiation. Um, I also want to update you quickly on the website. Those of you that have been on the website know that you can request a username and a password for each of the organization to update, or to put online, to upload whatever meeting you're doing in support of Leo, whatever statement you've made, the news, or your position that you want to share. Um, now this, the website has been upgraded. And if you go, and you can go on the left side, and you can click on your own organization, if you have upload something, you click on it, everything that you've uploaded now will be showing up by organization. So it, it's, a, it's an interesting uh, update of the website, and we really hope that you're going to take advantage of that. Um, Pepe, did I forget something for this week? Question on this week. Preparation, negotiations. Okay. I have, yeah. I have a question. I don't know when, when, when you want to talk about it. I was looking at uh, the material that's currently about the uh, Eagle Plus 20 in the popular magazine, in the magazine's current events in science, and I find very little. So I'm upset that there is not any. Uh, reporting in the media about what I consider the, one of the most important things going on. I was wondering what media could we be doing to uh, really alleviate or change that okay. unwholesome. The, this, the, actually, the media coverage has been increasing quite a bit. We have uh, DPI, Department of Public Information, as a daily coverage of all the, the everything on the Opus 20 in all the languages of the UN. And that has been increasing quite a bit. Um, the problem with the media is that the short-term attention, just like our financial sector. And therefore, for them, a few months is long-term. So now they're going to start paying more attention. And it's up to us, it's up to you guys, to make sure that some of this stuff gets up to the media. And actually, tomorrow night at 6.15, with the organizing partner, we will be talking about the, the media strategy for the major groups. And then we'll report their report back to you, and we'll report back on um, Thursday morning uh, to the briefing meeting office. But we just need to have a, a strategy meeting first. Yeah? Yes, we have session for the day of the day. It's a very possible one. It's not possible to make an agreement with security so we can go out and communicate. It's, it's a very good point, but it's impossible. The, the, the one problem, well, several problems in the UN, but one of them is that the rules are pretty um, fixed in stone and changing them will require a few full staff salary for to cover to change them. We've tried, it doesn't work. Um, seven, so go get your food before seven um, or send somebody that has one of those permanent, you know, the D, the delegates, or otherwise you can't come back. Sorry, really sorry about that. Especially if you're going to go to the next People that work for the secretariat or people that have a deep of delegates. That's why sometimes if some of you go with their, get on their uh, delegates, um, 
other um, groups because then it gives you a gene and you have much more accessibility to groups. Yes? Four years ago, we did arrange for people to come on and arrange for negotiations. So they required to have a list. And the Supreme Court was able to arrange that with security. So it is possible to win. Uh, we, we've asked them, and they've said no the last time. We can try again. <coughs> but Pepe is the one that's been talking to them, and they've basically been saying no so far. We can try. <coughs> we can try. But then we would have to have the list. You would have to tell us. Or we just distribute the whole list of the administration. We'll check. <coughs>